Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright series. So in the last video, we have seen that how to upload the file with Playwright. Today, we are going to talk about how to download a file with the Playwright because there are some amazing features that they have given. You can download the file and you can wait until the download is completed or not. You can check where exactly it is getting downloaded. You can get the file name. You can get the file source also from this URL, from this particular page. It's getting downloaded if you really want to delete the file also that also you can do that you can check the file got failed or not that also you can do that so there are some amazing things that with respect to download you can do that and you don't need to write any uh, wait condition or something like this just like we do it in selenium that we click on download and then it's taking around for example let's see five minutes or three to four minutes then you have to wait for the three to four minutes in that case but here you don't need to do that it is automatically keep capturing the event the download event and it will keep checking internally the download progress and then after that once the page is sorry once the file is totally downloaded then you can fetch any information about that particular uh, file from the specific directory the file name anything you can capture that right so for example let's say deliberately i'm taking this particular file you can just see that this is your um, file that you can download you can just see that chrome driver.exe actually i'm going to download from this page it's having around 7 to 8 mb so this zip file that i'm going to download so when you click on it, you can see that uh, the download got started here. It's taking around 10 seconds to download, right? So that's why we have to wait for that. And once it's downloaded, it's actually available somewhere in my downloads folder. If I'm downloading manually, let me just cancel it. I don't want to download it. Anyway, so we have to do what? We have to click on it. But to before we click on it, this is what the page locator and then click event we have to perform. Then only the download will start. So that click operation we have to wrap inside a particular uh, listener event that we have to write over here and it's very simple with the page object that you have created this page reference you just simply write wait for download that's it and then you have to create a, a runnable callback function over here like this you just write and then put it with the lambda and then you just pass which event that you really want to wait for the download so I simply say that I really want to click on this particular a link over here let's see I'm writing uh, click on and then you pass the locator so here you can see this is a, a text of a specific link so you can quickly create this okay fine this is my uh, a and then text is available so I can create okay fine this is uh, uh, a and then I'm going to use this particular text property here and then this is the text that's it and then after that it will click on it and when it click on it and it's gonna wait for that automatically see that's because of this particular method wait for download method it's saying performs action and waits for new download if predicate is provided it passes download value into predicate function and waits for the predicate download to return a true the value will throw an error if the page is closed before the download event is fired it means if download is not completed and the page is closed or you have cancelled the download it will return fail okay otherwise it will just wait until the pay, uh, until that specific uh, file is completely downloaded or not now see this carefully this wait for download method is actually returning one download reference over here so what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to store inside the download reference is equal to this over here like this and then this download you have to import it's actually oad the download you have to import from playwright so let's playwright import that we have to do that now with this particular download you can do many things so first of all that i really want to see that from which source it's coming so see you can download say that download dot just simple write url so it will give you the this particular zip file url or any file that you are using you are going to download it will give you that particular url as well that from which source it's coming right and uh, let's see what else we can do that download dot see you can check cancel you can delete you can failure we will see these methods as well but let's see it will give you the page also it means from which page it is coming and give me the title of that particular page it means it will give you the page object and then you can capture the title and then you can simple print it on the console system dot or print Allen title so it means give me the page title I mean give me the the download file URL and then from this particular page it is coming and give me the title of that particular file also so let's run it and let's see it is happening or not So one thing you have to remember one thing here guys that you can see see it's giving you the URL 
and once the download is completed it will give you that the source title also from which source it is actually coming over here so source title and the url both will be given to you so now you, know, you can see the download it is actually completed and uh, once you terminate the program see here you can see on the console is actually giving you this one so title for title is giving you blank maybe because of that particular page is not having any title so that's okay fine we are not bothered about a title so you can just comment it out for the title for time being later on we can try the title for some other file okay now you can see the url here whatever the url it's actually giving to you see this is this is a complete zip file url it's giving to you see that and you can cross check here this is a zip file here and then this is the main url and then under this main url and this is the url so it will give you this href property you can see chrome driver max 64.zip file same thing here you are getting it over here as well right okay now what else we have other than that from this particular download right now where exactly the file where exactly it's getting downloaded so here the download will happen in the temporary file so what you just need to do if you really want to uh, see that where exactly it got, got downloaded you can get the path so let's see simple write download dot path over here and then this path you have to convert that to a to string and then you can give me it will give you a string path over here let's see downloaded path and then you can just simple print it on the console this will give you that where exactly this file got downloaded so it will give you some temporary file path so let's see it is giving you the file path or not so now you can see that it's getting launched and uh, again we will wait for that and once the downloading is completed then it will give you where exactly the path where exactly the file is getting downloaded in your local system somewhere in the temporary file so you can see it's giving you the temporary folder uh, directory path over here somewhere in my where or something like this it's written over here right somewhere in the playwright directory it will store same thing in the windows machine also it will give you some specific directory url or directory path over here but i don't want to do this because this is a temporary file path i want to do that somewhere it should be stored in my project or somewhere in my c drive or d drive or somewhere it should be downloaded in that case what you can you, you can do you can just change the file path also so what you can do you can just simply write uh, once again download dot save as and then you can give the path in your c drive d drive or whatever so you can give the path like this let's see uh, in my c drive and then go to your documents or something like this that also you can do that under documents any specific folder that you want to write that you can do this let's see in my system i really want to download this particular file in the current project only so this is my project here you can see that this is the project under this project only i really want to download this particular file and you just need to give the file path over here so i'm giving okay let's see this is my uh, naveen underscore chrome dot zip file that i want to give so what will happen the file will be saved with this particular path right so you cannot give see save as is saying that you give me the path over here path means path with the help of path variable you have to use not like this not in the form of a string see i'll show you once again save as it's saying you have to give me the path parameter so how will you give the path parameter so in that case you have to write paths dot and then get and whatever the path in the form of a string that you have to give so this paths actually is a it's coming actually coming from this class coming from the java dot neo package okay it's coming from the java neo package so you don't need to give new file path you have to use paths over here so let's see this is actually getting downloaded when i click on it it should be downloaded under my project or whatever the directory path that i have given it should be downloaded over here you can give your c drive d drive but don't forget to give the path don't give forget to give the file name along with the path so let's see it is working or not so again the browser will be launched and i'll do one thing once the downloaded is completed i'll try to refresh this particular project and then we will see the file name that we have given it's getting downloaded or not so see the file name by default you are getting it something like this in your temporary directory you can see that somewhere over here right but we have saved with this particular naveen chrome dot zip file so in temporary file path is still there in temporary file directory the this particular zip file is already downloaded there 
but I'm saying that save as like this also. So it will create the copy from this location to this particular location, the whatever the location that you have given. So my location is the current project part. So you just simply go to refresh and now see this nice Naveen Chrome dot zip file added over here. So you can give any path, C drive, D drive, documents, desktop, whatever you want to give, you can give that. Simple. Okay. Now after that, what exactly I want that uh, I really want to capture that uh, couple of other things as well. So let's see, I'm writing download dot. If you really want to cancel, you can cancel also. See, I just simple call this particular cancel function. It's saying that cancel a download will not fail if the download is already finished or canceled. Upon successful cancellation, failure would resolve to cancel. It means we have canceled this particular uh, download. So let's see the moment I click on it, I'll say, okay, fine, cancel it immediately. I'll just call this function over here. So let's see. So see the browser is getting launched, launched and uh, see it's not downloading anything. You can see that it's canceled over here. So if it is canceled, then obviously that it's giving you the null pointer exception at line number 28, because line number 28 means if the download is canceled, then you should not use this. You should not use where exactly the path got generated or something like this, because there is no path of that particular downloaded file. That's why it's giving you null pointer exception, because we have already canceled the download over here. Right guys. So like this also, you can simple do it. So no need to call this particular function over here. So let me just comment it out this line, right? Same thing, if you really want to check the failure, if the download is failure, that also it will give it to you. Returns the download error if any, will wait for the download to finish if necessary. So it will just give you any failure error if let's see file could not be downloaded or something like this. So in that case, it will give you the failure string over here. So if you really print it first time, okay, because right now we are not getting any failure with this particular download. But if in case the failure is coming, you can just get the failure message on the console so that you will get to know that why it is getting failed. For example, let's see only PDFs are allowed, but you are downloading some other file. So in that case, maybe you might check these kind of conditions here like that. Okay. So see the, in this case, uh, let's see, is it really giving you something or not? So we are downloaded completely and then see that there is no failure reason behind that. So it's giving you null over here. So you can say that if download dot failure, right dot equals to null or equal to equal to null in that case uh, there is no failure message for this particular uh, download file it's absolutely working fine your test is fine so for search in conditions like that you can use it over here perfect okay now now i really want to know whatever the file name that i have given give me the file name also so this is the file name that i have given it means once you downloaded the file then give me what system dot or bin allen download dot see there is one more method suggested file name so it will give you the specific file name here whatever the downloaded file that you have used same file name will be given to this guy so that's also very important you can verify the name that we have given the same file name you really want to check on some other page or something like this that it will help you so it will give you the specific uh, the file name that you have given and then you can simple cross check with the validation point of view on some other page, let's say you're using the file name. See, it's printing the file name over here as well. That's so amazing. So this is giving you the file name here. And let's see when you click after that, let's you go into the search page and I really want to search this particular file is there or not. So like this also, you can do it over here with the playwright. So these are different methods you can use with the download event. And that's so amazing. That's so easy. You just need to download the specific file and you don't need to write any wait utility or something like this that wait until the download is completed or not this guy will take care of it wait for download method will take care of it automatically you don't need to worry about it so that's all and then once the download is completed then only it will start giving you other uh, values like failure url path get and then suggested file name or not like this perfect so that's all for today that's all for this particular video I hope you liked it. So file upload also we can do that and file download also we can do that. Please try these two options. Let me know if you are facing any issues with respect to a playwright. Feel free to add in the comment section. I'll have a look. Till then, take care and God bless you always.